Hey everybody, Dr. Horst here again. Today we're gonna to go over two really good foam roller um, exercises for our hip. We're gonna be working on the outside and we're working on the inside here. Get that groin moving a little bit better. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need foam roller. The area that we're gonna really be focusing on first is gonna be on the side right here. So we have a bone on the side right here. We have a bone a little bit higher. We're gonna be focusing right in the middle. This is an area called your TFL, your tensor fascia lata. And then we're also gonna be working on our psoas tendon and then top part of our butt, the gluteus medius muscle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the ground. And the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna locate that spot that I was talking about. So I'm right between those two bones. What I'm gonna do first is I'm going to rock backwards up towards the sky. Then I'm gonna rock forward all the way to the front, just like that. Back and forth. So you wanna go about this speed going for one minute. So if it doesn't feel very good, you're probably doing it right. What you wanna avoid though is being too low or too high. If you're too low, when you start out, you're gonna, it's gonna feel like you're on a hard nugget. The hard nugget is, is your bone. You don't wanna be there. If you're too high, it's gonna feel like you're getting stabbed by something. Again, that's another part of your bone. That's not a good time. You wanna be right in the middle of those two. And again, rock back and forth, all the way to the front. So you're gonna do that for one minute on both sides. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the inside of our groin here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the foam roller down on the ground. The leg that we're gonna be focusing on is gonna be bent at rough, roughly a 90 degree angle. The inactive leg is gonna be straight. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna start with it putting pressure from here, going straight down towards the ground. And you're just gonna roll into it, into your groin, back, and forth. So you're gonna do this again for roughly one minute. And if it feels like you're on a little nugget up in your groin, spend a little bit longer doing that. Back and forth. And what I see a lot of times in runners and people that like to lift heavy weights is they have a lot of knee pain. And a lot of times that's coming from the inside as well as the outside. So what we wanna do is make sure that the hip is moving as well as it possibly can be. So that's why we wanna work on the inside and on the outside here. And then if you have a chance, go ahead and check out the Pureformis um, video as well. That gets the back, because we really want that hip to be moving as well as it possibly can. Thanks for watching, have a great day.